you got it. And we say thank you. We bless your holy name. Amen, amen. Amen. We give God glory. We give him honor. And we do give him praise for our being here this evening or being here today. Amen. We thank him that the, the ministerial staff was um, a blessing to their pastor. And they said, Pastor, we will come and we will help to uh, create an atmosphere of worship so that, so that when the people uh, connect with us, even in their home, God, they will know uh, that the church of God is gathering. Amen. And, and will not feel like they are all by themselves. But the presence of the Lord will be with them. Amen. Amen. We just wanted to cause you to understand and know, Macedonia, that we, we do what we have to do in certain circumstances. Amen. But we know that our God is more than enough for us. He's going to take care of us. He's going to take care of us. Uh, your pastor has provided so that the ministerial staff will be checking on you in the days and weeks to come. And we will be aware of any needs that you may have and we'll be here to meet those needs. Amen. Uh, and so we want you to know that uh, as well, you can still send your offering. If you would call a deacon or a trustee, we'd be glad to come and receive your offering or you can put it in the mail uh, and we can get it that way. Of course, we always have Givelify uh, as a way of uh, giving and sending your offering. Or if you just happen to be passing by the church, you can drop it in the mail slot yourself. Amen. <clears throat> and uh, uh, we have made provisions for your needs to be met and for the needs of the church to also be met. Amen. Amen. So we bless our God. And I want to encourage you to take all the... Uh, medical and health advice that you are receiving, take it seriously. Some people are calling this whole thing a farce, but I don't know what they're talking about because the death is, is growing. And so I want you to take care of yourself, take care of your children. Uh, again, if there are medical needs that you have that you find yourself without medicines, let us know. Don't sit and suffer. Because God has connected you with a body of Christ that is here to help you through the most perilous of times. So we want to encourage you uh, to, to not be afraid to let us know if you have a need. At this time, I want to ask uh, Deacon Michael Lee, who is here, to come and sing for us. And then there is a word from the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 God is able. God is able. Yes, God is.
like a testimony to me. Psalms 91 tonight. Uh, Psalms 91. Uh, and, and I'm going to read it from the King James, but I'm going to explain it from the New Living, if that's all right with you. Okay? Okay? And, and, and the scripture reads on, on, on this wise. It says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High, yes, sir shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the newsome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers and under His wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and thy book. In other words, if God told you so, it's so. Yes. Yes. 
Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flieth by day, nor of the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor of the destruction that wasted at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all of thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder and the lion uh, and the dragon. Shalt thou trample under feet, because he hath set his love upon me. Therefore will I deliver him. God says, if you love me, yeah. then I'm going to deliver you. Yeah. I will set him on high because he had known my name. God said, I'm going to give you some credit just for knowing my name. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Have mercy. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him with long life. Yeah. Will I satisfy yeah. him yeah. and show him my salvation? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God. Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This I declare about the Lord. I'm, otherwise, David said, I'm going to tell you something about the Lord. He alone is my refuge. Now, you need to say that for yourself. He alone is my refuge. He's my place of safety. He's my God, my God. And guess what? I trust in Him. Yes. I mean, I wouldn't have a God I couldn't trust in. Yes. So if He's gonna be my God, I'm gonna have to trust in Him. But yes. that's just my nature. Yes. If, if, if I if I want some God to be my God, then he, I gotta be able to trust in Him. Right. So if I declare that He's my God, yes. Yes. I'm gonna trust yes. in Him, uh -huh. for He will. Why should I trust in the pastor? Well, he will rescue you yes. from every trap. Every, every, I like that. Yes. He'll rescue you from every trap. Yes. Man yes. trap, nature trap, yes. world trap, whatever yes. kind of trap you yes. find yourself. Yes. North Memphis trap, South yes. Memphis trap, yes. Orange Mountain trap, wherever you are. Yes. 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 Uh, he shall deliver you from uh, the traps. Yes. Huh? Yes. Yes, he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler. That's what that said. This thing keeps jumping back and forth. I guess God wants me to really work with this thing. He will rescue you from every trap and protect you from deadly disease. Yes. 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 I receive it in the name of the Lord. He will cover you with his feathers. Yes. He will shelter you with his wings. His faithful promises are your armor and your protection. Yes. Glory to God. Glory to God. His faithfulness is my arm. Yes. His, yes. I, I, somebody, yes. I said yes. his faithfulness yes. is my arm. Yes. Yes. I don't have to check it out because great is his faithfulness. Yes. His faithfulness is my, is my armor and my protection. So do not be afraid of the terrors of the night, nor the arrows that fly in the day. Do not dread the disease that stalks in darkness, nor the disaster that strikes at midday. Though a thousand fall at your side, 10,000 are dying all around you. Amen. Their evils will not touch you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. Their evils will not touch you. They may be dying around you, well, but their evils will not touch 
trust you. Yes, sir. Just open your eyes and see how the wicked are punished. God will take care of God's people. Yes. If you make the Lord your refuge, if you make the Most High your shelter, no evil will conquer you. Not only will not an evil conquer you, no plague will come near your home. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Won't even come near your house. They're not talking about coming in your house. No, it won't be near your house. Won't even come near your home. Why? Because he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. He will order his angels. Uh -huh. it's, it's, a, it's not an assignment that he gave the angels and they just do it when they want to do it. But no, no. He has ordered them yes. to protect Lord have mercy. To protect you wherever you go. They will hold you up with their hands so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. Lord have mercy. Now God got to be concerned about you. If he'll give angels to protect you from stumping your toe. Now you got to be somebody in God's eyesight. I said he'll send angels to keep you from stumping your toe. Oh, have mercy. Hmm. They will hold you up so you won't hurt your foot on the stone. You will trample upon lions and cobras and will crash across fierce lions and serpents under your feet. And, and I, I looked at my study Bible. My study Bible says, now, now, now God knows that, that especially in this day and time, most of us ain't going to run up on a lion walking down Austin Street. Come on, son. You're not going to do that. But God says that I, what I need for you to know is that there are some ravenous demons that would love to destroy you. But God says, I have my desire for you is so much that you'll be able to walk on them and they will not be able to harm you. You will crush them under your feet. Lord have mercy. The Lord says, I will rescue those who love me and I will protect those who trust in my name. When they call on me, I will answer. I will be with them in trouble. Hallelujah, somebody. Are you going to have trouble? Yes, I'm going to have some troubles. But I'm not worried about my troubles because the Lord promised that he would be with me yeah. in my trouble. Yeah. Hallelujah. I will rescue and honor them. I will reward, will reward them with long life and give them my salvation. Hallelujah, somebody. Give them my salvation. I will rescue y'all. Listen to a song that day. Said, said, I will send out an army yeah, to find you yeah. in the darkest of nights. Yeah. Hallelujah, yeah. somebody. Yeah. It says, I'll be your shelter. Yeah. I'll be your yeah. armor. Yeah. Yes. I will rescue you. It doesn't matter what you are facing. I know that some things have Oh, seemingly ravage you in life, but God says, I will rescue you. Yes, thank you. Yes, God. I will rescue you. Send out an army. In the hardest fight, I will rescue you. You're not by yourself. Thank you, Jesus. You're not alone. Yes. I will rescue you. I know where you are. I know when the meal barrel gets low, yes. I will rescue you. I've already told the pastor, get your minister to call and check on my people because I need for them to understand and know that God intends to be rescuing them. Yes. 
and delivering them from all of life's circumstances. Hallelujah, somebody. Bless your name. So, 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 we got us some traveling insurance. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. We got some traveling. See, the insurance don't tell you that every now and again the plane will hit a turbulence. Yeah. And you think you're gonna fall out the sky. It won't, it won't. That, that's not what the insurance is for. Uh -huh. mm. Come on, somebody. Yeah. The insurance is there is that when a situation tries to injure you, yes. the insurance will make you whole again. Yes. Uh, yes. Hallelujah, somebody. Yes. Uh, and, 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 and you know circumstances have presented themselves I might get a little hungry until Kroger's can resupply the shelves or Walmart can restock or Costco can restock I might get hungry but God ain't gonna let me die in hunger because I'm dwelling under the shadow of the all mighty and he shall Rescue me. He yes. shall protect me. Oh, yes. He shall deliver me. Yes. So, so I encourage you, church, to hold on. Hold on. A little while longer. Yes. Yes. Hold on. Hold on. Yes. A little while yes. longer. Don't give up the fight. Yeah. Yeah. Just hold on. Hold on. Hang in. Hang and down. Keep the faith. Because yes. yes. he will deliver. He will. Yes. I said he will. We bless We bless his holy name Amen Amen. 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 We bless his holy name I love you Forever With all my
the God in whom we trust. Father, we pray your blessings upon your people right now in the holy name of Jesus. Thank you that you've given ministering angels to be there with every last one of them to provide everything that they need to keep them, oh God, from being overtaken by this malady. And God, we thank you for great is thy faithfulness. We thank you, dear Lord, for you are our shelter in the time of storm. Yes. Thank you, God. We thank you, Lord God, that we sometimes go through the darkness of night, but oh, we have also experienced that joy comes in the morning. Yes. And so, God, we thank you for the joy that we shall behold. Yes. Ah, we thank you for the joy that we shall behold. Yes. We thank you for the joy that we shall behold. You are our strong deliverer. You are our way maker. Our trust is in you. Yes, sir. Thank you, God. Be with our senior members, oh God. Thank you. Touch them. Touch them, oh God. Touch God. Provide their every need. Yes. Protect them from hurt, harm, and danger. God, when we come out of this, oh, we're going to be so excited about blessing your name together once more and again. Oh, God, the house will be full. The saints will be full. And we'll bless the name of Jesus. So we thank you, Lord God. So God, you watch over your people and keep them in your care and in your keeping. They should have to venture out, oh God. We pray that you will protect them, protect everywhere they go. Keep them safe is our prayers. Watch over our children, Lord God. They're telling me that the youth are in danger. Some of them don't even know it and they're taking chances. God, I pray in the name of Jesus. Give our children wisdom. They may keep themselves safe. Then as you watch over them and they watch out for themselves, oh God, we know they shall be delivered. Oh yes. Oh yes. So we thank you for your divine thank you, care. Thank you. Now may the love of God and the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the communion of the Holy Spirit, rest rule and abide with God's people both now and forever. We say amen. 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 amen.